that time it was very strange. They wanted to have the World Conference there, but at the same time the Chinese wanted to have control. Uh, what is said and so, but how, even for a Chinese government, which is quite a strong one, <laughs> how can you keep control over 45,000 women in the biggest gathering of the world? You can't. But they didn't let go, that they made themselves believe they can. <laughs> so, but they can't. And then some of the women's groups in Beijing, they said, well, that's too political. And then for us, we said, everything is a women's issue. We want to democratize the UN Security Council, we want to have a share in the power, and we want to have different power shares. We should uh, see the issue from the uh, human rights perspective. So women should be treated equal as a human right. So engaging the men, how can we can in enhance and uh, some of our colleagues, because it is not a totally different uh, women's issue and we can't uh, achieve, uh, we are achieving, but to achieve more, uh, uh, more so, and uh, on time, so we have to engage more colleagues uh, from men and their support, their collaboration, their support and uh, partnership. There are so many policies and laws, but the, there is no uh, resource or budget from the government allocated so the mechanism can uh, work. But uh, we are lucky that uh, Cambodia learn about participants from eight, uh, 185 countries. That uh, the young women from other countries, they are brave, they are strong of speaking out. Very different to Cambodia, that the uh, women shy, and the women, they are lack of English. I have been with the Panyasastra University of Cambodia since 2002, and te teaching gender studies, including women's empowerment of all sectors. And for last almost 15 years with my young students, I have observed and enjoyed the huge development and empowerment of women, particularly among the youth. So I think a lot of mindset has been changed even among the elder people. And if elder people, we start to tell the young people, try, you may fail, but try, then I think there are a lot of more positive development in the female participation in politics. Uh, that they have the political will to increase women in politics, and that they have the policy in their political party to encourage young women involved in politics. Do they have the policy to encourage youth involved in politics? They haven't uh, developed any policy yet. I am young, and I did not participate in the Beijing platform in 1995, but I can see that uh, the government achieved just a small issue regarding about the uh, declaration. Many Cambodian, up to 65, 70% are paying their out of pocket for healthcare. Don't we think this is a women's issues as part of human rights issues? It's also women's rights issues. Why the government are not concentrating in investing public, public investment on these basic social services, but instead trying to reinforce privatization that take away all our basic rights. If Cambodia is claiming that government industry represents one of the assured economic improvement, having around 700,000 workers, 90% are women, and they already form all economic sector, why the working condition of these workers are very poor? What is the problem? This, is a sh this sector is given a huge impact on Cambodia economic growth. But why are they facing so much poor working condition and starving wage? Only one sector, we can't even address it. How do we dream to address the other sectors? ពុំបានទទួលអំណាចគ្រប់គ្រាន់ក្នុងការធ្វើសេចក្តីសម្រេច
ពុទ្ធាផ្នាក់គំនិតក្នុងការផ្ដល់គុណតម្លៃដល់ខ្លួនឯងហ្នឹងនៅមានកម្រិតធ្វើឲ្យស្ត្រីហ្នឹងមាន